hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to add interactivity to your widgets uh, for native iOS application i am using ui kit but the entire widgets code will be written using swift ui because that is what is um, recommended and uh, it's very difficult to use ui kit for widgets but the default application which i have created is using ui kit this also you can use with swift ui the reason i have created with ui kit is most people still use ui kit that's why i'm using it uh, so first uh, this is my view controller okay now i have already created a practice project from that i will just copy paste all the code so i'll just go to my view controller and i'll just copy all this code and then i'll explain it to you so basically what i will do is uh, i will have a number that number is stored inside user defaults so in case if you don't know what user defaults is is basically used to store key value data because uh, when i create a widget i will have a button on that widget as well and when i click on that widget it will increment the number which is present inside my user defaults so you can either increment that number by directly via your app or uh, you can do it via widget but the number uh, should be maintained properly like the state of the number should be maintained properly irrespective of from where you update it <coughs> instead of user defaults you can use swift data or core data as well i wanted to keep this thing simple that's why i'm using user defaults uh, if you want to use something else you can use that as well so firstly uh, here you can see i have this ui label i have this ui button as well i'll quickly run it uh, but so that my simulator is up and running so here you can see i have this uh, ui label as well as ui button i have this user defaults key stored number so in this key i will store a number and here you can see for this label i have just done some text alignment and font here is our button as well i have set some title as well as click listener to our button added both of them to our view then this is some ns layout constraints which i have applied to both of our buttons okay and here we just call update label now once you click on this particular button uh, here i have created this soup name which i will uh, tell you what exactly it is uh, but you can't really use user defaults dot standard if you are using user defaults like me you can't really use because then the state won't be maintained that's why we have to use this suit name and here you will have to give uh, what so group dot whatever is your bundle identifier use that particular thing okay <clears throat> i think my bundle identifier is little different now so i'll just copy that i'll go over here i'll copy it and i'll just paste it over here so i'll just paste it over here okay and here if you see uh, we uh, basically what we are doing is that once we get the user defaults uh, we try to find some value inside it uh, and if we have that value then we just update it by one and again save it to that particular user defaults key and here we have this update label uh, thing as well uh, so here if you see i'm using the same thing so i'll just update this as well uh, so here is the updated one and here we get the uh, uh, value from our user defaults and whatever we get it we just update it to our label so pretty simple setup from view controller point of view then what you will have to do is click over here go to your project go to file new target and here you will see something like this just search for widget uh, select ios search for widget you will see widget extension click next and you can give it whatever name you feel like uh, i will just name it as my ios app widget give a proper name in your case and here you just select this include configuration app intent uh, uncheck this include live activity as include controller also uncheck this okay then click on finish it will create lot of code for us but don't worry too much about it click on activate as well and here you can see it has created lot of code for us okay again i will go back to my practice project because it's very difficult for me to remember everything so firstly inside app intent i have not changed any, anything so if you ch check my app intent as well it's pretty simple i think by the time you walk, create and uh, this gets this apple keeps changing this stuff so you might see little thing some little things here and there it's fine ignore this for now uh, then we have to go to uh, if you go to this uh, my ios app widget uh, bundle it basically this is the starting point and it basically refers to this particular file my ios app widget so okay now i'll just close this because this canvas thing takes a lot of time to load it's annoying uh, 
सो हियर यू कैन सी दैट इट हैज़ क्रिएटेड दिस सिंपल एंट्री कॉल डेट एज वेल एज कॉन्फिग्रेशन इंटेंट नाउ टू दिस आई नीड टू एड द नंबर विच इज प्रेजेंट इन साइड यूजर डिफॉल्ट एज वेल राइट सो वॉट आई डू आई जस्ट गो टू माई प्रैक्टिस प्रोजेक्ट अगेन जस्ट टू सेव टाइम आई विल एड दिस काउंट ओके दिस काउंट वी विल गेट इट फ्रॉम यूजर डिफॉल्ट ओके माई वी एस कोड हैज स्टॉप टू वर्किंग आई डोंट नो वाई ओके नाव इट इज फाइन सो आई जस्ट कॉपी दिस and i'll go back to our app and i'll just paste it over here okay next uh, if you do this here we will get error because here they are using simple entry everywhere uh, and it requires that particular count variable which we have added so for that i will uh, create this particular method so this will basically fetch data from our user defaults a number right so i'll just paste it over here so if you see uh, Again, I'll just go back to my view controller just to copy this particular thing. I'll come over here, and I will just paste it over here, so that my bundle identifier is same. And if you see, we are just checking, uh, getting that particular value from our user default. If there is no value, then I'm just returning zero. Okay. Now, if you come over here, I'm just using this count. Okay. I don't know why it is not working. Okay. Here it is working. now i will just call this get value method which we have defined same thing i will have to uh, do for uh, the below two ones as well so here i will change this okay i can remove this and i will add it over here as well now if you see over here they are creating this timeline and everything i do i don't really need this so what i can do is i can just uh, do this i will remove this i will copy this i'll paste it here policy i don't want to update it automatically i want to update it once the user clicks on it so i will just change this to never and for time i will just take it as now if you don't want time you can remove it from over here as well but i have kept it just for uh, everyone's sanity and i need to now comment this because i'm not really using this okay so hopefully up till here it is correct uh, it's hopefully hopefully you have understood it then here is our swift ui view so here you can change it to whatever you feel like again i'll just go to my practice project i'll keep things simple okay so here as you can see uh, i don't really need this time i don't don't know why i have taken this i'll remove this i'm just keep keeping a text component which will display the value which is present inside our uh, user defaults and here on button click i want to increment the user defaults right so we have to create this particular intent so i'll just go over here you will have to select your widget right click new empty file and here i will just create create this as increment intent dot swift file now again i'll just go back to our code i'll copy this and then i'll explain it to you okay so okay i'll just remove this uh, so here we have to import app intents we have to extend from app intent okay now here you can see we are not directly using the click listener to our button we have to follow this increment intent if we are writing this inside widget i'll just do proper indentation as well okay so here you can see this is how also if you see over here uh, it is asking us to add a count value for this is only for preview if you have that canvas preview open i don't have it so i'll just keep it as one for now this is fine for me as well as over here as well okay so this is done okay i'll just remove the extra quotes then again coming back to increment intent so here you can see this is our uh, localized string uh, here is the increment value inside user defaults value it is stored number so i'm using the same key which we have defined it inside view controller and here uh, again i'm doing the same thing again we'll have to update this user defaults uh, because that's not what i'm using so i'll just copy this sorry i'll just copy this part and i'll just paste it over here okay so here basically i'm getting the value from user defaults and whatever is the value i'm appending one to it and again setting back to user defaults that's it now what i'll do is i'll again rerun my application okay uh, also sorry while running it make sure Uh, don't you you don't select this ios widget extension like i have done select your ios app uh, otherwise it will directly run your widget extension and you won't see uh, your app 
now for me it will run directly the widget extension because it is not uh, stopping it for me okay finally it has stopped i'll again rerun it uh, no big deal so now that it has rerun it again here you can see the value is zero right i'll click on increment increment to increment three now what i'll do i'll completely close this app i'll close this as well now i will just click on my app long long press on it click edit home screen click on edit over here click add widget this will differ like i have seen apple changing it from ios to ios just enter your app name so this is my app name and it will uh, show you all the various uh, ways it has been available so you can select whatever you feel like i'll just keep the first one click on add widget i'll click on done okay and it is still showing zero let me click on increment me okay i think i have messed something up uh, typically it should be this one only maybe i'm using the wrong user defaults or the old uh, suit name oh sorry i know what's the issue uh, okay uh, we forgot to add the app group so what i'll do i'll just uh, uninstall my app okay let it reinstall it what you will have to do is one important step which i forgot you will have to go to your app uh, go to sign in and capabilities click on plus capability and here you will have to select app groups and now you will have to use the same group which you have defined over here so i'll just use this particular group okay uh, so it is still adding that app group this will take little bit of time so it is updating provisioning be uh, be uh, like be patient once it has done click on the once you see something like this just click on this plus button and here you can paste it like this click ok okay now again uh, the, if uh, this app group has already been used you will see an error uh, i don't see any error so this is not really used anywhere uh, now okay i think i have directly added it inside the extension uh, i need to add it inside the app as well actually first you should add it with the, within your app then inside the extension but this is fine i click on add capability i'll go to app groups okay again this is taking little bit of time for updating the provisioning uh, just be patient let it do the updating because uh, sometimes it will automatically select the app group for you uh, okay it hasn't selected it for me uh, let's see if the app group is already present for me so here you can see the app group is already present this is a really bad ui from apple side we can't even see it full but this is the app group which i am using group.com dot uh, my ios app try okay and if you go to widget extension same thing has been checked group.com dot coding with nobody my ios app try okay so hopefully you got the point the text is getting cut out uh, maybe if i do okay it is still getting cut out i don't know why uh, poor you have would say from xcode but anyways hopefully you got the point now i will just rerun my application i have uninstalled the app completely i have uninstalled the widget as well uh, just so that we don't have any stale data otherwise again you will face issues so now our app is running okay let's just wait okay a simulator is always slow sorry about that so here you can see the value i'll click on increment i'll just increment it sometimes okay and i'll just close my app completely now i will long press on it i'll click on edit home screen i will click on edit add widget and here i can just uh, enter my ios app try again enter your own app name and here is our widget and here you can see it is automatically displaying our value as well i'll click on add widget 
now i'll click on done now i will click on this increment me button you can style this button however you feel like and here you can see that it has incremented this value as well uh, hopefully you are getting the point now uh, i will uh, so i have completely closed the app okay and now i will reopen the app and here you can see it is showing the same value 13 uh, which it was showing on in our widget if i click it now okay and if my app is already in the background it won't update it because i haven't uh, uh, like uh, recalling my ui logic uh, when view will appear i only call it inside view did load so you will have to close it and reopen it and here you can see the value is updated so hopefully you got the point thank you for watching bye